solving by linear combination or elimination. Um, sometimes you'll hear it combination, and the reason you hear it combine is because you combine the equations. So you combine the equations so that one variable cancels. So just like in the past we have done, um, like I show you multiple ways that you can solve a problem, solving systems is the same way. You really could, if you wanted to, get both of these set y equals and graph them in your graphing calculator. But on today's assignment, you're going to have to do all of them by linear combination. And then after we finish the specific assignments where it tells you how you have to solve them, it doesn't matter to me. Um, you could also do substitution where you have to get the y by itself. So you would add 4x and add 4x and then substitute in for y. But this one, because of the numbers that are in it, it's actually easier if you just do linear combination or elimination. Um, so first thing you're going to do um, is make sure that there's a variable that cancels. So if I combine these two equations, by combine I mean add them together. If I add 4x and negative 4x, 4 minus 4 is 0, which cancels, which that's what you want. So this one, I don't have to do um, anything extra. So I'm just going to add the equations together. OK, that says equations. Let me zoom out one, just because I can't see everything. So I'm going to do 4x minus 4x, which cancels or is 0x. Then I'm going to do 2y plus y. Remember if I have 2y and a 1y it actually becomes 3y because 2 plus 1 is 3 equals and then I'm going to do 12 minus 18. Well if I give you $12 but I owed you 18 I still owe you 6 more or of course you could type it in 12 minus 18 is negative 6. Okay, this canceled. So I'm left with 3y equals negative 6. The next thing I need to do is solve for the variable. So then 3 times y equals negative 6. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is divide by 3. So y equals negative 6 divided by 3. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay. Now this is looking just like what we did the other day. Um, or what we've been doing with substitution. So step three, find the other variable. So by substitute. So you can pick either the top equation or the bottom equation. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to pick the second one just because, I mean, you could, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Like, if you don't like using negatives and you want to do this top one, um, you get the same answer as if you use the second one. But negative 4x plus my y value, which is negative 2 equals negative 18. So then I have negative 4x plus a negative 2, which is the same thing as just subtraction. So then the opposite of subtract 
is add because I'm trying to find my x value. So I'm going to add 2 and add 2. Negative 18 plus 2 would be negative 16. Negative 4x equals negative 16. I'm going to divide by negative 4 because it's multiplying negative 4 times x. The opposite of multiply by negative 4 is divide by negative 4 and divide by negative 4. So x equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So my answer would be, again, you have to write it in a coordinate form, 4 comma negative 2.